Liebin, the CEO of NEO, seems to aim really at the big shot here and has gone all in and in this case on battery swapping. A couple of days ago I posted in the Dongxi Patreon community that NEO Battery as a Service goes Europe. So if you look at their LinkedIn you will see that they are currently hiring a CEO of the battery asset company. Now you would say, well, that's not really news, right? We knew NEO will go and go to Norway and also brings the battery swapping stations with it. And so we know since the NEO announcement that they're going to enter Norway, uh, that they also bring the swapping functionality of their cars to Europe, which at the first point that wasn't quite clear from the beginning now. But it seems that Libin is actually really aiming higher here. And now with the CEO hiring of a battery asset management company, um, I think it's becoming quite clear that they also want to bring not only the swapping stations to Europe, but also battery as a service. So in Europe, people will be able to lease or rent the battery as they are in China and also can actually swap different batteries as they want. So for instance, the 70 kilowatt hours can be swapped for and replaced with 100 kilowatt hours in the future, possibly also the 150 kilowatt hours, which is a solid state hybrid battery. And um, that will be available also to NEO users in Europe in the future. And that's just my guess. It's just speculation for now. But why I think so is because the CEO hiring here is happening in Amsterdam. So it seems that this will be the new central point and uh, the new uh, hub for NEO in Europe. And um, the fact that they are recruiting a CEO for a battery asset management company there tells me that this is not um, a CEO for the Chinese company that is doing the battery asset management, which is, um, to clarify that, a separate entity from NEO. So right, the NEO um, battery swapping stations have batteries in it, which are not on the balance sheet of NEO. So they are actually at the balance sheet of a separate entity in which in the case of NEO China, uh, CATL, the big battery manufacturer, is also a stakeholder in this company along with other investors. And so it seems like this model will be replicated in Europe. And it's going to be interesting who will be the stakeholders of these companies. So surely NEO will have an investment in this company, but possibly also European venture capitals or um, banks, investment banks and investors. And along with that, possibly also again CATL, which is building a big battery manufacturing plant um, in eastern Germany, actually. And so this will have also the effects that NEO can possibly do some stuff which they also have done in China, notably really um, separating the car body from the battery, not only in technical terms, but also in financial terms, in terms of that there are two invoices, one for the car, one for the battery, and one is going to a separate company. Um, I've clarified it before that NEO is receiving actually the purchase price from the battery asset management company. Um, so the, the returns are actually coming to Nero straight away for the batteries, but then they will be kind of um, amortized over time uh, through this battery asset management company. And Li Bin, he once mentioned that he thinks that this business model of renting uh, batteries and make uh, create this entire ecosystem of um, cars that can swap the batteries um, and so on. And he, he mentions once that he thinks that this is a trillion uh, Chinese yuan, so renminbi uh, opportunity there in China at least. And so it really seems like uh, he wouldn't need to make that, right? He could also just sell the cars to Europe um, with just uh, enabling battery swapping, yes, but without being able to rent actually and lease the battery there. But it seems like he wants to bring the entire ecosystem like it is in China and what users really also like and why they buy neo cars in the end, um, because they have those advantages. And on top of that, actually also in China, they have the advantage of the subsidies um, because of that scheme. Um, so he will bring the entire thing to Europe, it seems, uh, reading from this LinkedIn hiring. And so you can see that he really wants to bring this bigger vision um, to become 
yeah, reality in the end. He's not trying to shy back because it's an, uh, in a foreign market that he wants to go in, in really tiny, tiny steps or, you know, uh, take some puzzle piece out of the Neo big uh, ecosystem puzzle there. No, he brings the entire thing over, it seems. And well, of course, there are question marks whether or not this can actually work. And frankly, I think it's also quite unlikely that we will see a similar system um, then, for instance, in China, that also um, we will see uh, subsidy schemes that are implemented also for battery swapping. Although we need to know that uh, NIO is already quite active also, for instance, in Germany. They have good government relations, for instance, and there, may, uh, and there might be other OEMs interested in that technology. And possibly they want to keep the option also of having battery swapping established in Europe and uh, kind of you know, making a reality as well. And so, well, we will see what happens ultimately. Uh, the fact is that this is big thinking by Li Bin and that also underlines once again the aspirations of NIO as the company by the CEO and for instance also for investors, the huge potential which is there in the stock ultimately. And on that note, if we look also what's happening on how fast NIO is um, scaling out battery swapping right now. So, so yesterday NIO built or launched um, 11 new battery swapping stations alone in China in one single day. Previously, they were at the rate of building one swap station per day. But now, um, well, of course, not every day is going to look like this. But yes, this is an enormous pace and underlines why they will most likely exceed their goal of 500 swap stations by the end of the year. And additionally, they also put seven supercharging and 17 destination charger stations um, into um, uh, operation there in China. And so they are really heavily focused right now, it seems, on the infrastructure build out and not shying away of bringing the same thing and the same ecosystem with all the benefits and all of the interesting things around those reoccurring revenues. Also the ability to manage the batteries um, from a, a central uh, Neo cloud system where you can see the efficiencies of the batteries, the, the charging states, uh, where are lemons for instance in the system, uh, improving uh, the battery life over, over time through the system, all of those aspects as well of course for the users um, the upgradability and the flexibility as well as the lower pain on fast charging issues there um, so all of those aspects will be coming to europe as well it seems although for now this is still just speculation let me know in the comments down below whether or not you think that this is too big of a shot there and whether or not you may think that this is also a wrong interpretation by me and yeah, anyways, thank you guys for watching. Smash a like and subscribe and hit the notification button. Thank you guys.